Alrighty, hey there guys, Idra Costa here, aka John Brown 95, coming at you guys with a gameplay video of both Devin Hester and Richard Sherman. I did not do a gameplay for Franco Harris. I probably will do it when I get a, the uh, free legend uh, later on, like maybe in a couple weeks, May, I don't know. But yeah, Franco didn't do a gameplay for him, but Devin Hester, let's talk about him real quick. Um, really good. Like, I, I think Devin Hester is a very, very good receiver. Is he worth the coins? It depends. If you are on like with the Seahawks team team, probably because the third receiver that we have is JSN, who's about 81 speed. And I don't know if that's going to be serviceable for online. Probably not. So I would probably say go ahead and pick him up. But maybe for like an Atlanta Ravens or a um, Bears team team, it's literally staring at me on their face. I don't know why I couldn't remember what the team he played for. Um it depends on the, on your situation, but I do think if you can pick him up, Devin Hester is definitely pretty pretty good. But he is very expensive right now with three hundred for like three hundred fifty k give or takes. But so definitely make sure you're gonna do the set if you're gonna do him, or just wait until you get the free legend from the challenges that you get here in a couple weeks. Because I actually can I just say a small quick little timbit uh, to the you guys in the video and to the guys in the chat because I'm actually recording this live on stream this is where all my gameplays and whatnot come from so if you are a new subscriber come on over to the Twitch uh, link in the description we stream every evening we're going to try and stream every weeknight Monday to Friday from about 7.30 from about 9.30 EST till like early morning give or take we'll see how we'll see how the, we'll, we're going to see how the night goes uh, for the most part uh, but yeah, I, I do think the the legend the way they're going about with legends this year is fantastic. You know, first of all, no power ups. Second of all, they're making it to where we can get about two, three legends every season, which nice. Keep that up, please. Keep it going, EA. That's fantastic because you know it makes legends not cost so much. Anyhow, moving on to the next one, which is going to be Richard Sherman. Um, is he the best corner in the game? Yes, he is absolutely. Richard Sherman, in my opinion, is the best corner in the game. If you're running a zone coverage scheme, Richard Sherman in the zone scheme is fantastic. As you can see, I have 93 zone on him because I do have a couple of strategy items that boost the zone coverage. Um, so he's pretty good in zone coverage. Man coverage, though, he stinks. And it's it's quite embarrassing how bad he is in man coverage. Uh, but in zone coverage, he's really, really good. I think he's probably the best corner in the game regardless still, though, because of that. Uh, especially since a lot of people like running zone coverage. But if you are a man person, I would not recommend picking up him picking him up uh 88 speed on this team though with 93 zone 85 acceleration he does play a lot of good he does play pretty well uh for his ability bucket you can get things like mid zone ko flat zone ko pick artist tip drill uh and these buckets and then in this bucket you can get deep out zone k deep in zone ko i don't understand why this is not deep out zone ko personally nobody uses deep in zone ko and even in a cornerback, there is no justifiable way to use deep end zone KO on this card whatsoever. It just doesn't make sense uh, to have deep end zone. I personally think they should be deep out. If EA changes it to deep out, up more than likely have deep out KO on Sherman as well as spend the four AP on him. But uh, yeah, that is it for me for the intro, guys. Uh, enjoy the gameplay. All right, as we get into the lineup, guys, you see Richard Sherman, Devin Hester, and Rondé Barber for my top three. And then for my opponent's top three, we got, yeah, Aaron Rodgers and uh, Odell Beckham. I'm not even going to try and pick pronounce that guy's name. So first play of the game, obviously, you know, going to want to set the tone right away. And uh, Uchenna actually does that with a nice tackle for loss on a jet sweep that he just didn't get blocked on. So after a second down sack, we go to a third and 17. And, and that's something I'm going to be doing this year, guys. Uh, I'm going to be cutting out a lot of the boring stuff. So like, you know, second down, like third down plays, like, you know, things that like end up in like incompletions or like, you know, a small game, like one or two yards. I'm just going to cut those out just because to save some time since you know, that does get boring. You know, I, I understand that. Don't get me wrong. But first, second and five there, you know, after that nice five yard run. So after a third and five, after incompletion, go to a third and five. Tries a deep shot down the field on the crossing route, but it was knocked out there by Richard Sherman and Tariq Woolen. So we move to a fourth and five here. Once again, we play a little bit of cover six, I believe is what we're in right here. So he tries that deep shot once again. That was never going to get caught anyways. And he ends up turning it over on downs from the 30 yard line. So a really good start for 
us on defense down both the both possessions because we had a pick six and a nice uh, and a nice good stop there uh, right there we just couldn't find anybody so we just take a so sadly take a four yard sack right here we take a locket on the hitch route he does hold on to the ball after getting hit by Rondé Barber himself uh, which leads to a third and seven and we actually I actually call a run here trying to you know just get it to the outside get K9 going in space seeing what K9 can do because uh, you know I haven't actually fully played too much with this team yet online right here we go to a nice boot action and get dk in the end zone for a touchdown so uh, a really good start there for both offense and defense but yeah i like i haven't really played a whole lot of online like yesterday when i was streaming guys was the first online games i actually played with this team this year um you know so far uh, i've just been playing a bunch of like solo battles and you know just trying to get the team finished up to get the full 50 out of 50 for the Seahawks team team right here he actually does play maker christian kirk off the sideline and actually does get a nice completion on that which i was not prepared for that i'm not gonna lie like i even sat there in the stream and was like damn i was not prepared for that but he does get we do get a nice sack there on a second down getting to a third and 15 uh and he does actually no huddle here so we actually just call man straight up you know just make sure nobody gets open on a like a you know type of you know beater type you know maybe because he throws saw something and then you know changing up the make the changing up the calls a little bit but one thing i do notice this year when it comes to coverage and whatnot is you see nolan smith right here uh gets a sack he's actually nolan smith by the way is my rookie premiere that i'm using to help with the uh pass rush since the seahawks pass rush is pretty pretty bad right here we have a second and eight we sadly get an illegal forward pass on to that play to Devin hester so we end up taking a penalty and a loss of down so we're on a third and 12 here uh fire this pass over the middle to Devin hester and we get the completion but we do end up getting a bit short so we just quickly no huddle try and get you know try and catch him off to our toes a little bit i thought about running but i decided to go right back to um you know go to a passing play and we hit hester on this little out it is the ball is inaccurate but thank goodness hester is able to knock the, to catch the ball and i think he may have fumbled the ball out of bounds i'm not sure but one thing i have noticed this year guys match stinks like i don't know if it's just the way that the game is programmed or if there's a legitimate bug with match coverage this year but match coverage is pretty bad um i honestly would recommend uh, for match coverage if you are gonna call you know just to not call it I would actually say turn for your zone coverage uh, like your coverage and stuff you know how like they have the coaching like coaching shit in the menu is right here on a third and 15 I absolutely should have got picked off there I was not sure how I didn't get that picked but fourth and 15 throw the ball deep to Hester right down the seam we actually get a nice catch there and a first down which take a bit of a sigh of relief there because you know going for it was kind of a bit of a risky decision uh, right here I decided to run out of the back of the pocket instead of trying to step up in between where my guard and tack my right tackle is uh, and then right here throw that pass right down the seam to Devin Hester uh, for the touchdown and we now take a 21 nothing lead after the extra point so um, but yeah match coverage this year as I was talking about is pretty bad like I would just recommend you know on your coaching suggestions when it comes to like your zone coverage and whatnot just not even have it on just leave it on default and just play traditional zone if you're gonna play zone because uh court apparently inside court uh quarters outside quarters are just not matching to receivers on corner routes and stuff of that nature leaving them wide open underneath and it's kind of weird it was a nice pick there for richard sherman uh just go right to the second half because we didn't really do much after that so third and six we actually do take a sack here after a couple of mediocre plays like i think we had like a two yard run and then like a two yard pass play or something like that but fourth and 13 we actually go to charbonnet out of the backfield on four verticals and we actually pick up the first down so uh really 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 strange there for um me to be able to pick that up right here on a second and 10 after an incompletion we just go right to fan to the flat get about eight yards setting up a third and two on this play coming up so uh you a nice outside zone i think we actually did stop yeah we get stopped short there um but yeah match stinks i would just would not call it whatsoever fourth and two here we go with the lock it on the slant kind of wish i got lock at a td but we actually did have a, quite a bit of stuff to showcase for the gameplay like we did get k9 going a bit we have got dk a uh, touchdown and a yeah, nice play right there uh hester caught a touchdown we got a jamal adams pick six you chen got some uh tackles for loss and stuff of that nature so i feel like this is a pretty solid gameplay over also richard sherman got a pick 
I think Richard Sherman has two, you got two picks in this game, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, right here, absolutely speaking of interceptions, that one should have been intercepted as well. But, uh, you know, you got the poor accuracy out of reach there, shenanigans. Uh, right here on a fourth and seven, once again, I go to the verticals and get to the check down. This time he actually did call man, so K9 just, you know, broke his route out on man coverage and was able to get a receiving touchdown, which, surprisingly to my knowledge, I don't think K9 has a receiving touchdown in the NFL so far this year, which, I mean, I'm not making fun of him for it. I was just saving that clip for TikTok. Uh, I was going to put that up on the TikTok and on the YouTube short, which, by the way, guys, I do have my first official YouTube short out now. Uh, if you guys go check it, uh, if you guys could go check it out, leave a like and whatnot, that would be fantastic. Um, but yeah, I never realized that K9 does not have a receiving touchdown in the NFL. All of his touchdowns were literally rushing TDs last year. So that kind of is kind of weird, but I mean, hey, he's a, you know, I'm not really expecting that too much from K9. I mean, that's not his, he's not a pass catching back by any means. He does need to improve in that if he's going to want to be a true, in my opinion, he's going to need to improve at, in a catching, in the catching. If he wants to be a true workhorse back, he's got to get better at, at catching the ball. Uh, but overall, I do think that it is what it is right now. Right here, absolutely, again, should have got picked off. I should have had at least, like, two interceptions in this gameplay, uh, because I was not thinking, like, on that play, because I thought he was in cover three, uh, uh, man coverage, but he actually didn't cover three. Right here, he actually does get the interception on me. Uh, but at this point, it's like, whatever. Like, it's already 28 to 7. More than likely, I'm not going to blow this game, considering, uh, the state of where... Uh, we're at right now for the time. So right here, he finds the corner route to Julian to not Julian up to I think that's Darren Waller on the sideline uh, Julian Love was playing match coverage there on that corner route, which corner route actually didn't match on that one right here Nolan Smith again gets a nice sack kind of wish we did take Nolan Smith um, a little bit because you know, he does have some pro a lot of promise, but I, I do like the fact that we didn't pick an edge rusher. I still think we should have picked a defensive tackle for the draft. Like, I still think we should have used our pick on, like, Brian Brees, uh, potentially, instead of um, JSN. Which, speaking of JSN, I uh, hope he gets better very, very soon. I did hear that he actually has a broken wrist, but... And he's going to need surgery. He might need to... He might be able to play at like, the start of the season, which I hope he does, but... Uh, if so, I hope, I, I just hope that he gets better very, very soon. So, uh, yeah, you see right there, he scores a touchdown on a crossing route, but big deal. We're up like 15 because he actually went for two and missed it. So big deal, whatever. We're just going to run the clock down and we act actually the end of the game right there because I'm not going to showcase me grinding the clock down because that's just boring. But if you guys did enjoy this video and guys want to see, you guys want to see more of content in terms of the gameplays hit the like button below and subscribe if you guys are new also every single one of my gameplays that i do guys are on twitch every single one that i do that i bring over to youtube does happen on twitch so if you guys want to see these before they come to here i highly recommend going to the twitch streams as that is where i do stream and i do try to stream uh every, like i said in the intro every night from 9 p.m 9 30 p.m and uh eastern standard time till about say uh 12 30 to 1 30 p.m uh a.m eastern standard time as well so uh yeah with that being said though guys i'll see you in the next video video i'm out peace